Hello everyone, welcome to Geology Episode 1, in which we're going to be looking at samples that I've collected over time, or currently, and basically talk about the geology behind them and why they exist. So, we have to first travel back to December of 2016, quite a while ago, uh, and we're actually going to be going to California for this. So Mount Tamalpais, which is near San Francisco, it's just north of the Golden Gate Bridge, um, is going to be our first location. Um, so it's a very interesting site and I'm very excited to talk about it. Um, and as you can see, it's not too far away from San Francisco and it's pretty much just barely on the northern half of California as a whole. This is the actual sample location. You can see San Francisco in the background and uh, you can see this beautiful out rock outcropping um, with its very distinctive color. So very interesting. So let's first do a introduction, you know, a little bit more thorough of Mount Tam. So it's the highest peak in the Marin Hills, which are also a part of the Northern California Coast Ranges. It is a range on the coast, very creative name. Um, so like the rest of the coast range, uh, Mount Tam is the result of uplift, buckling, and folding of the North American plate, you know, tecton tectonic plates, as it slides alongside the Pacific plate which then induces the San Andreas Fault Zone, which is a very famous zone and it's very prone to rupture. And uh, you can see here on that little yellow dot up near San Francisco, that's actually the location of the sampling site. So some relevant information is of course, the leading theory of you know the actual geology of Mount Tam is from Penn State which currently suggests that it's above a bind thrust fault. Um, of course, a fault is basically a, a break in the continental crust. Um, and a specifically a thrust fault is just a break in the crust across which older rocks are pushed above younger rocks. Pretty, pretty simple standard. Uh, however, a bind thrust fault is basically when the fault plane terminates before it actually reaches the Earth's surface. Uh, it's then a bind thrust fault, and these types of faults can be very difficult to detect before like rupture of an earthquake due to actually little surface evidence. So that's why it's currently proposed, um, and it's very likely that it is actually a bind thrust fault. Now, one geological feature that Mount Tam is known for is serpentite. So it's basically a plutonic rock uh, and it occurs typically in dikes, stocks, and lenses. Um, however, mostly um, in this case, it's going to be formed by dikes, which is, you know, of course, breaks in the, the crust in which a uh, flow will rise up. And, um, you know, specifically, this is a really open ended mineral that is typically found. Um, we're actually going to be looking at a different thing, which is serpentine, which is a subgroup. And that is actually what we collected, as it is much more interesting, in my opinion. Again, here is the actual sample uh, collection site, which has a very nice uh, rock outcropping and isn't very far from the road. Um, you can see it's very easy to collect a little sample, um, and which I did. Um, I don't really encourage that, but um, it was a very small sample. So as you can see here, it's very glassy but it's also very waxy. I, I think the best way to put it is it's simply like uh, you put a plastic and then you melt it alongside some wax. And that, that's truly how it feels along the, the breakages um, of the actual mineral itself. And it's a, it's, it's a really nice, like um, almost uh, minty color, I believe. And um, it, it's, it's very much like a marble it's just very nice. It's a very nice little mineral, and uh, I think it's very interesting to think about how it actually came here, and the reasons why it's still there. And additionally, this type of mineral is typically actually pretty hazardous to typical plants, and so as a result, most plants don't really grow over it, which is why you can see in this rock outcropping, it's just there by itself. It's not necessarily because there's no soil. It's, there's no soil because plants can't really grow here. And 
Um, there are some special varieties that actually thrive, which are slow growing, kind of like an alpine um, type plant. Um, but it's very interesting that uh, just due to this mineral, it's going to change the look of the actual surface itself. So thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.